people don't give you the credit for the drums. They don't give you the credit for the acting. Do you have a chip mm. on your shoulder in a way? Do you think that's what led to maybe the drinking? Oh, um, no, I don't know. The, the drinking came, you know, I was, I could handle it. And my parents were alcoholics, but they were functioning. And, you uh-huh. know, it's, it's hereditary. And, and you, if you poke at it long enough, poke, 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 I got this, I got that, and then it attacks you like a monster. And that's what happened to me. But it was, you know, the combination of the divorce and, and my dad died and then it just kind of went down and my mom died and I just hit rock bottom. But it's funny, all the years I hung yeah, with you, yeah. I didn't really see you as an alcoholic. A lot of my friends didn't know. Uh, even when I went to rehab, they said, what, you, you know, you're fine. And, and a lot said uh, it was time. A friend of mine, a really good friend of mine, Neil Morrow, uh, he told me when I came out, he said, your mom called me and she said, I'm really worried about Johnny. I said, oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. Um, but it was, uh, I could stop, right? I could stop for a few days and I could stop for a week. And I would always, I would just, I would do a gig and, and I would uh, stop. And then at the end, I, was wor- I would reward myself. And then that would, a lot of it too, was I was very lonely. And so I found myself, if I drank, and carried on like that, I, I could, uh, I would be with these people that I shouldn't, if I was sober, I would never be with. The low you would drink by or, yourself? Oh, would yeah. you drink by sure, yourself? Sure, oh, you sure. would. Yeah, yeah. When you got the DUI, did you think your life was over? Did you think like my career shot, everything's done, like I'm fucked? No. And that's the problem. I mean, I, 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 I went home after that. It was horrible, Howard. I could have killed somebody, man. It was, it, it just right. makes me sick to my stomach. And I, um, seeing myself there with handcuffs on that's not the kid that my parents raised my parents were good right. and i was disrespecting my childhood because i was it was beautiful and what everything i learned from my parents so i went home and you know what i did i drank another bottle of wine by myself holy and then, shit and then i You're realized me. no and i realized i was just with rita wilson and nia in greece and and i realized i forgot that the next day they said oh you got to go to toronto you're in my big fat greek wedding too i'm like what I was ham. I, I was, st- and I was. I don't remember being on that set. So when, I, as soon as I came back from Toronto, the big fat Greek wedding, my sisters were there, and my agents, and everybody was like, "Okay, it's time." It wasn't even an intervention. It was like, "We packed you back. You're going." I said, "Okay, I, it's time." And were you would, mad at them? No, no. I knew. I got it. So that's when I knew, like, shit, man. I fu- I'm close to. Fu-. And I. Uh, uh, Where did you go to rehab? Do you ever talk about that? Yeah, a little bit. I went to Cirque, this place, Cirque in Utah, and it was beautiful. It was great. How long do you go for? I went for 30 days, and I just knew it was time. And, it, you know, they say, well, you're sick and tired of it, you're sick and tired of it. Um, so the rehab Did was, you stop drinking at rehab? I mean, did oh, you... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. I've not that had the a last drink time? since eight years ago. Uh, 